This video will show you how to load your hemocytometer. To begin, start by cleaning the counting chamber and the cover slip with 70% ethanol. Be sure you're using lens paper or a Kim wipe to avoid scratching the surface of the counting chamber or the cover slip. We will be loading our hemocytometer with our Bunsen burner ignited so our tip box remains sterile. Be sure when you're preparing your dyed suspension you do so aseptically as well. Begin by placing the cover slip over the center of the counting chamber so it covers both sides. Take an aliquot of up to 20 microliters of the dyed suspension into your P20. Depress the plunger slowly and allow the suspension to be drawn under the cover slip until it completely fills the chamber. Stop filling once the fluid reaches the edges of the chamber and appear as sharp, straight lines. If the edges appear wavy, you have overfilled the chamber and need to start over. Position the tip at the edge of the cover slip where it meets the central groove or the surface of the hemocytometer. Some hemocytometers do not have these grooves but are filled in the same way. Load both sides of the hemocytometer as you will be counting cells in both chambers. Your hemocytometer can be viewed under the 10 times or 40 times objectives of your microscope for counting. Once counting is completed, clean the hemocytometer and the cover slip with 70% ethanol and place it back into its box. Clean the surface of your bench with 70% ethanol before leaving.